Hey, in this video, you're gonna find out why this little peanut is turning the world of AI upside down. Am I really talking about peanuts? Not really. We're talking about the new kid on the block, Deep Seek, how it's disrupting AI and how it can benefit your business. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, Antonio Thornton, the Profit Engineer here, and welcome to another episode of Practical AI, where we help your company get faster, smarter, better using the power of AI. And today, we're gonna talk about a new kid on the block, Deep Sea, straight out of China. <laughs> if you've paid any attention to AI and just not been hiding under a rock, you've heard about Deep Seek, and it is causing a lot of disruption in the AI world. And so we're gonna take a quick dive in to see why you should even care and why it matters to your business. So when you're looking at DeepSeek, for the most part, it looks just like any other AI you've come across. Now, of course, out of China, but as you can see, English on the screen. Now, why is this important? Well, because they know who their market is, all right? That's the one thing. But here's what is, is incredibly um, mind-boggling ab about DeepSeek, is that where companies have spent billions and billions of dollars on building out their large language models, DeepSeek has been able to create a, an open AI rival that's actually slightly outperforming it in some areas for a fraction of the cost. Now, so when I say fraction of the cost, what do I mean? 50 billion versus 10 billion? 50 billion versus 5 billion? No, let's go 50 billion versus five and a half million. So we're talking about point percentages here of what the AI world has collectively spent on building out their models. And why is that so important? Well, because it's allowing China to offer DeepSeek 100% free to end users and they've made it open source. Now, let me take a quick pause and say this. You guys know, I don't typically talk about tools for the sake of tools. So I'm not gonna go through all of the cool things that it does. I'm gonna show you a few things, but we always talk about the practical application of these things and how they impact your business. But there's a broader conversation going on here and why I made that peanut reference. So here's what you need to know about DeepSeek. China has had sanctions on them for years. The US and other allies have prevented China from getting access to some of the higher level NVIDIA chips in order to stifle their AI growth and, and, and keep them out of the competition of the AI race. And I wanna take just a quick sidebar here, um, not to make this political by any means, but here's the reality of the world we live in. Regardless of you seeing peace, there's always a war going on and there's a war with China in the race for technology. So the, eight, the US did what they thought was best was to put sanctions on China to, again, handicap them and stifle them from the tools and the resources to, to really compete in the AI space. So they only allowed China to have access to, for all practical purposes, lesser, older, outdated chips. But here's what they did. They took those chips, they took the limited resources they had, and they made it work. And this is, you know, this is literally the, the personification of necessity being the mother of invention and how George Washington Carver took the simple peanut and did 150 things with it. That's kind of the same thing that China has done in this instance is that they're like, hey, okay, fine. We can't get your chips. We'll use what we have and we'll use our ingenuity and the resources that we, and, and that's what they did to come up with deep sea. And it's, it's really fascinating to me to, to think about that you're competing with people who have billions of dollars and you've done the same, if not better, with literally 1% of what they've spent. So with that, I'm gonna show you just a couple of quick things. So as I mentioned, DeepSeek is just another AI. So if I wanted to come in and say, uh, what is DeepSeek, all right? And it's gonna tell you, just like any of DeepSeek, it's an artificial intelligence company uh, referred to as DeepSeek, and there's a Chinese word for it, founded in 2023. Now, here is the thing. If you choose to sign up for DeepSeek, and, and I wanna put a little caveat around that, if you choose to sign up for deep seek i want you to understand uh, right here i want you to look at these terms of use and privacy policy when you go deep into reading those you will find that they're going to use all your stuff for whatever reason that's pretty much what the terms of service says you upload anything any image any file uh, any data they will use it for any reason whatsoever and most people aren't okay with that when it comes to privacy and you shouldn't be now with that being said there's one thing to take in consideration is that you can definitely choose to run deep seek locally on your computer uh, or whatever other 
local application you're using. If you're looking to run an LLM on this level, you can run it locally and the terms and conditions don't apply. Uh, they don't get your data. It's not stored on Chinese servers. It's stored locally on your computer. So in essence, if you wanted to run a local quote unquote open AI 4.0 or 01, because we're going to talk about the reasoning model in just a moment, you can run that locally for free on your own computer. Now, going back to the, to, to the core of what we're about, AI practical use in business. What does this, what does this mean? As we know, 01 is the industry standard right now. It is the North Star. Everyone is striving to compete with the reasoning capabilities of 01. It's been able to uh, score better at math. It's been able to write better code. It's been able to write better content as well, more human sounding content. What does this mean? Well, this means now you can create content uh, on the level of 01 for free. Whereas you had limitations running on the open AI servers where, you know, this week it's this amount, that week is that amount. You can run pretty much an OI competitor on your local systems for free. Now, we want to talk about how DeepSeek compares to OpenAI. Let's scroll up and take a quick look. Look at this. When we're talking about almost every aspect of AI applications, DeepSeek is, is right at and, and slightly above. So as you can see, this is not just some run-of-the-mill AI that has just come out of nowhere that you know somebody threw together. This is is competing at the highest of highest levels uh, and when it comes to, to AI. And now you can run it for free because they're offering it it's open source. So I just really want you to get that and understand how freaking powerful that is. It's 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 really just sending the big guys a, a big F you where you've spent billions upon billions of dollars to build out your model. Not only did we build it for a fraction of the cost, we're giving it away. We're giving it away for free. And I want to just strongly recommend this because again there there are some some real privacy issues um you know we're not going to get into the whole conversation about TikTok and all of that stuff but the, the reality of it is DeepSeek is a Chinese company. Your data is being stored on Chinese servers. And in their terms of service, they, they pretty much say we can do whatever we want to do with your data. So no bueno, not a good idea to run on their web-based version. I would not recommend running anything on their web-based version. Now, I don't know if this has the ability to pull anything off your local hard drive or anything of that nature. I don't know. And the unfortunate reality is with a lot of Chinese companies, you just don't know what's there. But the one thing that you can know is that when you download the application, you can run it. And even if you wanted to even be doubly sure, you can take your computer offline and, and run it there uh, locally if you wanted to. But again, the broader implication is that here's a company who had very limited resources and had sanctions against them, but they said, hey, we're just going to take what we can. And they created something just as good. Now, again, another business lesson here is that maybe you're in that same situation as a business owner that you may have less resources than one of your competitors. How can you think creatively and maybe even use DeepSeek to help you think creatively how can you think creatively to compete with your competitors who may have more access and resources than you do so it's a really great conversation to think about both from the technological side but also from the business implication side of here's a company who came out of the blue and doing something completely different and completely disrupted the market so much so i want to show you this here which i thought was interesting look at this huge dip that <laughs> nvidia took as a result of deep seek launching and here's the game i'm, I'm not happy that that NVIDIA got hit as hard as they did, but it's really freaking awesome to see when someone comes into a market and completely disrupts it. And that goes for NVIDIA, it goes for Microsoft, it goes for Meta, all of their stocks drop as soon as DeepSeek drop. So here's here's just a, another lesson where you might have a David and Goliath scenario where the little guy competing against the big guys and, and here they are blowing them out of the water from, a, from an investment perspective perspective and, and competing. Because again, look at these numbers. They're competing across the board at a fraction of the cost, less than a percent for the most part, less than 1% of the investment, they, they're competing. That is huge. So now here's something that I found to be really interesting. Now, I'm not 
a conspiracy theory guy, but this is really interesting. Uh, when I did go to sign up and I came back today, it says, look at this here at the top. It says, due to large scale malicious attacks on Deep Seek server, uh, registration may be busy. Uh, please wait and try again. Registered users can log in normally. So yeah, I can get in just fine. I can do, I can do everything I need to do in here, but they have, they're under attack after being out for what, a week? Not even a week. Uh, I want to just show you this here as well. Uh, these are the numbers that Deep Seek uh, published on, on their API. Let's go over here to AI index, artificial analysis. Look at where Deep Seek is showing here on the quality index, 89 compared to 90 of 01, 70 compared to 77% in scientific reasoning and knowledge, coding 97 versus 98. Uh, look at that. Deep Seek is outperforming 01 in coding. Do you get that? Deep Seek is outperforming 01 in coding. And the reason why I wanted to show you this is because this is a third party uh, company. So Deep Seek shows us their numbers, right? Which of course they're going to say what they want to say. Now, here's the things you need to know about that. This version of Deep Seek, which is just the standard version, um, this would be comparative to uh, 4.0. Now, how do you access the, the deeper knowledge? The reasoning is right down here where it says Deep Think R1. And when you turn that on, very similar to turning on Pro and Perplexity, very similar to the O1 uh, in uh, in OpenAI's platform, that's how you access the R1. Now, I have no idea how many searches they allow on the R1 on the web version, but again, if you choose to use this, downloading this locally, you can get the R1 model and run it unlimited on your local machine out having to worry about your data being compromised but getting the higher level of reasoning and again why is this so important because now you've got access to to creating a massive amount of really great content uh, whether it be for contracts whether it be for uh, social media content even if you're looking at you know turning some of your ideas into things like books or lead magnet or uh, articles or anything of that nature you can get that deeper level of reasoning through our one using it locally on your machine. Now, here's the thing. If you just don't care about your data or you put, you're putting up data that really isn't relevant or directly addresses, you know, gives out any personal information about you or your company. If you're just wanting to do just some general research, then maybe DeepSeek is a great option for you if you're not wanting to, to use uh, OpenAI's uh, O1 model, which is, you know, pay to play. You, you can't access it unless you're paying at least $20 a month. And then their pro version is $200 a month. What? $200 a month? Are you kidding me? Think about that. Free or $20 a month. Duh. So lesson here is anyone can come into the market at any time with the right level of skill, innovation, and disrupt the market. Disrupt the market just like DeepSeek did. So maybe you're in a highly competitive market in your business. How can you use the tools and resources that you have to compete on a higher level to, it, you know, to make your business run again, faster, smarter, better? How do you do that in in your industry. So I'm going to be following this. I, I recommend that you, you know, just kind of keep your, your radar up about what's going on with DeepSeek as the company, not just looking at the AI itself. But it, again, when a company comes into this space like this, um, they're absolutely one to watch. And I'm going to, I'm going to just follow them to see what they're doing in the space. Uh, in the global race, I'm not going to use the word war, but in the global race of AI dominance. These guys have come out swinging and, and they're, they're, they're knocking on some doors because I got to tell you, when you see this type of thing happen, when you see a 15% drop like that, uh, in a few days of another competitor launching that lets you know that the market, not just the competitors, but the market is responding to a disruptor like deep seek. So that's it for today, guys. Hope this helps. Um, I'm probably going to come back and talk about deep seek again in other videos but had to put this out today because it was just really burning and pressing to get this out here. So um, so that's it for today, guys. As always, if you need any help with AI, implementing AI in your business, check us out. Either click below, click above, click to the left, click to the right, wherever, wherever the clicky is in your device, <laughs> click there. Uh, hit us up, let us know. We're more than happy to, to show you and help you, you better utilize AI in your business. Talk to you soon, guys.